Lee Guyton. Hello again, everyone. Tim Ryan here in Atlantic City at Valley's Park Place Hotel with Sugar Ray Leonard and Gil Clancy. We'll be describing the action involving a champion who feels he has not been recognized properly as a world champion, mainly because Davey Moore won the title in just his ninth professional bout. He has successfully defended it twice since that time, but he is just an 11-fight pro, and he wants the world to know he deserves to be the champion. Sugar Ray, let's talk about Davey Moore. Here is a young man with an outstanding amateur career, but a lot of people think that against an experienced pro like Gary Guy, perhaps after just 11 pro fights, he's still too inexperienced. But well, Tim, I don't see any problem. Dave and I have the same type of amateur background, over 100 fights, and in fact, national and international competition, we fought great fighters. Here, he's fighting Guyton, who is an experienced fighter, but I feel that David Moore has a type of uh, ability, which is natural, good hand speed, good mobility. He has the tools that can defeat a great fighter like uh, Guyton. All right, well, Gary Guyton, of course, is a, a young man who was a middleweight originally and has dropped down in recent fights to 154 pounds. Gil Clancy, of course, uh, he th feels that he's bringing that power with him. Yes, Tim, dropping down in weight should make him a much more effective puncher. You also have to remember that Gary Guyton is a very hungry fighter. They're the most dangerous kind. He's a very, very good combination puncher. Throws ripping punches inside, and that's the key. He's going to have to take Davey Moore inside, make Moore fight his fight to walk out the champion of the world. Well, Gary Guyton is indeed a hungry fighter. He's unemployed. He knows he's got to keep boxing and keep winning. The title, of course, would make him a comfortable young man. We'll be back with the start of the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship after this word from the Boxing Association, Mr. Pedro Arias. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful Valley's Park Place Casino Hotel. The main event of the afternoon, the World Boxing Association Junior Middleweight Championship is promoted by Top Rank Incorporated in association with Valley's Park Place Casino. The referee for the main event, Vinny Renoni. This contest, 15 rounds. In the red corner, he's wearing white trunks trimmed with blue. He weighed in at 150, 52 pounds. He hails from Muncie, Indiana. His career record, 39 wins, five losses, with 35 knockouts. Here is a very capable challenger, Gary Guyton. <laughs> in the blue corner. He's wearing red drums trimmed with white. He weighed in at 153 and a quarter pounds. He hails from the Bronx. His career record. He is undefeated with 11 wins, no losses, with eight knockouts. The World Boxing Association Junior Middleweight Champion of the World, the sensational Davey Moore. 15 rounds. Referee Vincent Reynotti will call the two boxers to the center of the ring. round contest, when I say break, step back, break clean, then resume boxing. If you cause a knockdown, I'll put you in a farthest neutral corner. Stay in that corner till I call you out. out. Don't come out sooner, because I'll stop counting. Three knockdowns is in effect. Eight count is mandatory. Shake hands, good luck, and wait for the belt. Well, you heard the uh, rules given to the fighters. We see the tail of the tape. 27-year-old Gary Guyton in at 152. Davey Moore at 153 and one quarter. He is 23 years of age. Scoring on the 10-point must system under WBA rules. Richard Murray from Atco, New Jersey. Joe Sancarpia from New York City. Sammy Sensis from Garfield, New Jersey are the judges. The referee, Vincent Rainoni, will not figure in the scoring. Three knockdowns in a round will end the fight. The challenger, Gary Guyton in white. The champion, Davey Moore on the burgundy trunk with white trim. Tim, both fighters do, and that shows no signs of perspiration. And in fact, this round here, first round, anything can happen. I won't be surprised if there's an early knockdown. Well, the champion came out flying and landed one combination to the head of Guyton in the opening seconds of the fight. Tim, I didn't like the way Guyton was standing in his corner. He wasn't moving, he wasn't warming up. He was standing there, and he looked to me like he could be cold. First round is a dangerous round for a guy that stands around like that. Gary Guyton's wife, Pamela, is here at ringside from Muncie, Indiana. Indeed, some fans came up from Indiana to cheer for the local hero. And uh, you may have heard when Davey Moore was introduced to some Bronx cheers for the young man who was the champion from the South Bronx. And those were real Bronx cheers, not the kind that that's <laughs> come to be known as the 
raspberries. David Moore can't afford to uh, play around with Guy because the Guy inside, he's mostly an in, in, inside fighter. He likes to get his, his opponent against the ropes and work the body and work the head. So Dave Moore has to keep busy, keep on the outside. Now, Guyton is an effective puncher inside, but he's he's a little stiff. He fights a little bit like a robot. And these guys that are stiff, they're good punches, but most of them can't take a good rap. Both of these young men, as we indicated in the opening, had outstanding amateur careers. Davey Moore, 96 wins against six defeats, a four-time New York Golden Glove champion and a national PAL champion in 1977. Went to the finals of the eight Olympic trials, and he just landed a heavy combination to the head of the challenger, Guyton. Guyton, on the other hand, was 64 and 11 as an amateur. Moore continues to pour it on. Just went into his kangaroo dance, whatever you call it, Tim. Under a minute to go in round one. Like the champion, Guyton was a Golden Gloves champion, the state of Indiana, and a two-time Indiana AAU champion as well. So they have had long and very distinguished amateur careers, but Guyton with the experience in the pros, 39 and 5, 35 knockouts. Tim, another thing we should mention, from 154 pounds up in the state of New Jersey, they use 10-ounce gloves. That could hurt their punching power a little bit. Both fighters. And 30 seconds to go in round one. Moore's familiar buzzsaw attack, getting him off well here in the first round. Mind you, he will miss almost as many as he lands. Final seconds of the first round, scheduled for 15, the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship at 154 pounds. Round number two, Tim Ryan, Sugar Ray Leonard, Gil Clancy, live from Atlantic City, the champion Davey Moore in the Burgundy Trunks. On the left of your screen is the challenger Gary Guyton from Muncie, Indiana. You know, you were saying that um, the 10-ounce the ten gloves makes a difference. It does, because when I fought Ayu Kaluli for the Dream Little the Crown, when using 10-ounce gloves, I was not that effective until the later rounds. You saw Moore land a left hook and then go into his little Moore shuffle. Is that what you call that? Well, I think he does. There's a combination scored by the champion. There's a little mustard on Moore. To describe as a uh, colorful champion. He'll run around the ring if he wins the fight, do a couple of laps. Guyton, uh, the more businesslike of the two, in personality and in boxing style. Oh, watching the tapes of the Sean Mannion fight, his last outing, one thing Sugar Ray doesn't seem to use very much or effectively is a left jab. And he has a, a, a stiff left jab, and he should be using it to get closer. This is where he does his business inside. Well, this is where Dave Moore should not be. Those ripping punches inside. They can bust you up in a hurry. A mistake Guyton is making. He's coming straight up with his chin. I kill one question mark in terms of the champion Moore. He was cut in the Kaluli fight, and that same cut over his left eye was open while he was training for this fight, and this fight had to be postponed. You see that as a possible fact. Well, it could be a fact that they have a very good cut man in Moore's corner and Artie Curley. The punches to look for when these two guys are inside are the uppercuts. Inside, it raises the chin up for either left hook or right hand. Champion managed and trained by Leon Washington. Guyton managed by a final seconds of round two. after he sacks his quarterbacks. A number of outstanding former NFL pros are here for a big Super Bowl party at Valley tomorrow. Lenny Moore, Bob Hayes, Herb Adderley, Lou Groza, a lot of great names on hand. Referee is Vinnie Rainoni, will not figure in the scoring. Three judges at ringside on the 10-point must if it goes the distance. 35 knockouts and 39 wins for Guyton. Eight knockouts and 11 pro victories for the champion, Moore. They told Moore to box this round, and he is managing to stay on the outside, which is exactly what he should do. Well, there's a little more of the, the 
four shuffle. You, you burn more energy by doing what Moore just did. Jumping up and playing around. You burn unnecessary energy. There's a combination scored by the champion to the face of Gary Guyton. Next week, we've got the Starling Stomp coming in, and that welterweight Marlon Starling against Jose Barrett, the slugger out of New York City from the Dominican Republic. What more can do, he can pick the pace up and throw the rhythm of Guyton off, because if you notice, Guyton has a rhythm, one, two, three, and he punches. Guyton is very, very cool, seems to be very confident at this time. Under a minute to go. Guyton told us during his preparations this week he doesn't feel as a 154-pounder who can stand up to his punching power. He had a blood pressure problem when he was boxing as a middleweight, and uh, he's had no problem with it since coming down to 154. Indeed, he came in today at 152, so he's in super shape. Tim, he's been on the deck a few times, and he has been stopped, and I believe it's because he's just a little too stiff and too tight. It's like hitting a board when you hit him, and it can break. And he stands too straight up, too, Gil. 20 seconds remaining in round three. Two fights ago, he had to get off the floor against Sandy Torres before he stopped Torres. Coming to the end of round three. Not a dominant round for either fighter, the third round. Number four, the challenger, Gary Guyton, hustles out to the center of the ring. The champion now on the left, Davey Moore from the Bronx, New York. They have Moore moving continuously to his right. He's doing that to take that big left hook of Guyton's away from See him sliding over to the right? Davey Moore, an engaging young man, an honor student in high school in New York. Has two years of Manhattan Community College under his belt in business administration and plans to finish. Well, they're back inside, Tim. This is guiding territory thus far. More should be using a left jab. Inside, it appears the guy is like a little stronger than David Moore. Ray, and it was a little short up because, again, can bust you up. Since Moore was cut in training for this fight, uh, certainly he's got to at least be thinking about that possibility. Over his left eye is where the cut from Kaluli came when he defended his ground for the second time. And he was cut in the same spot during sparring sessions. I feel now that unless Moore lands a big, big punch, he's, he may be in for a rough afternoon. Maybe Moore at the top of your screen now on the right in red with white trim. And he lands a left hand to the face of the challenger, Guyton and White. The combination scored by Guyton. Guyton likes to lead with that right hand. Bang that left hook to the body as you just saw there. It appears now Guyton is getting the best of Moore. Yes, he is. Back him up. Moore is fighting his fight. But Moore says he, he was wobbled by a combination. Moore has that great desire, though. Great desire. Now he's got Guyton in trouble. Davey Moore with a wild swinging combination. Rock Guyton. Now scoring inside an uppercut and down he goes. A right uppercut from the champion. Davey Moore sending Guyton to the canvas. Struggling to get up and he did not make it. It's all over. A fourth round knockout. When it appeared that Davey Moore was in trouble, suddenly a wild swinging combination rocked the challenger Guyton and then a solid right uppercut sent Guyton to the canvas. And Davey Moore is unbeaten in 12 professional bouts with his ninth knockout. Tim, when a fighter is stiff, when he gets hit, that can happen. And that's what happened to Gary Guyton in this fight. A very, very effective fighter, a little too tight. And Moore landed the one big punch he had to. Now let's go back and look at it, Ray. It, it looked like Moore was in trouble in this round. And boy, did he turn it around. We're going to go back and see the action here. Well, the tables have turned a number of times. And here we see Moore on the attack as he hits Guyton with those combinations. He had Guyton in a little trouble, and he took advantage of it. A little technical difficulty on that replay. Now let's pick up the next one. There's the uppercut. Actually scored two uppercuts. The and it first was one, the damaging one, yeah. It was a delayed knockdown. And then he got a free one. We'll see it again here. 
There's one, and then the following knockout here, but really, as you can see, the first one appeared to be the really stunning blow, and Moore got a, a free uppercut shot that sent Guyton down for the count. Now, there is the champion. He wants recognition. He wants people 